And let's look at this study here on drugs affecting gastrointestinal motility. And they say the principal local hormones that modulate gut motility are ghrelin, cholecystokinin, motilin, glucagon-like peptide, serotonin, and dopamine. Let's really look at the cholecystokinin as a very important player here. And that's something that exists mostly here in the duodenum, which is the first 10 inches of the small intestine. And when we look at this Science Direct page on cholecystokinin, they say the principal physiological actions of CCK, CCK is what all the cool kids call cholecystokinin, but they say it's to stimulate gallbladder contraction, to relax the sphincter of OD, and to stimulate secretion of pancreatic juice rich in digestive enzymes. Other functions are stimulation of bicarbonate rich fluid secretion, insulin secretion, and intestinal motility. So they're saying that this cholecystokinin is part of this thing that moves things along. So what happens is when the acidic food comes down here into the duodenum, that triggers the cholecystokinin to say, hey gallbladder, it's time to drop this alkaline bile down so that we can emulsify our dietary fats and neutralize acids that are coming from the food. It tells the pancreas to squirt out the bicarb to help us neutralize those acids and all the enzymes that help us digest and break down that food correctly. But even on the basic Encyclopedia Britannica website, they tell us that cholecystokinin secretion is stimulated by the introduction of hydrochloric acid, amino acids, or fatty acids into the stomach or duodenum. So they're letting us know that this cholecystokinin is triggered by stomach acid. Now it could be triggered by amino acids, but we get amino acids by breaking down protein and we need stomach acid to do that. And a lot of people don't eat very much dietary fat at all. They think that that's not right. They're running in horror from dietary fats like they're still living in the 80s. They're eating this low fat diet while they're watching the A-team. So there's a lot of things that don't have an opportunity to tell cholecystokinin that it's time to go into action to trigger all of these other functions and to help things move through the system like it should.